experiment seven, we're kind of doing a rudimentary recreation of the ABC laws, the gas laws. So A for Avogadro, B for Boyle, and C for Charles Law. And we're using the passport um, probe system, and we're going to use the temperature pressure probe. This is a temperature probe. It's really just a digital thermometer, and it'll give you a digital readout of the uh, ambient atmospheric temperature um, on your computer. And this is the pressure port. So the first one we're doing is the relationship between volume and pressure. So we're starting with um, an open port, and I have pulled back to the volume marked on my lab notebook where I'm supposed to start. And then I need to connect to the pressure port. So as I decrease the volume, this instrument is going to read the pressure. I slide it in and then I kind of click. And I want to make sure that this is open. If this is closed, that means I'm only measuring the pressure in that piece of tubing. And one of the reasons we have this as short as possible is so that we are um, having a negligible volume here, that it doesn't mess with our calculations. And so what I'm going to do then is just keep increasing the pressure, pushing to the um, marked volume in my lab write-up in my data sheet and then on the computer it will give me a digital readout and I'll write down in my data sheet. And you have to be careful because there is some pushback. So you, this is definitely um, an activity where you will enlist your partner. So one person will push and the smaller the volume, the, you know, the greater increase in pressure, which is Boyle's Law, greater pressure, decreased volume. Uh, so you'll need your lab partner to write, write down the values as you're pushing. So that's the Boyle's Law recreation. The um, Charles Law recreation, we have a smaller syringe that has been melted at the top, so it has a fixed volume. That's intentional. And you're going to have a warm water bath, you're going to have a um, dry ice acetone bath, and an ice water bath. And so we want to leave this at ambient temperature and record the volume, and then we'll put it in the hot water bath for three to five minutes. Um, if you still have your hot water bath on the hot plate, you don't want to just um, set it down in there. You don't want it to get too hot. So after three to five minutes, um, you'll record the volume. Um, you'll move it to your colder, uh, cold water bath and your dry ice acetone bath. Probably the biggest difference you'll see in volume will be between the ambient temperature volume and the dry ice acetone bath because that's so much colder. Um, and then finally, for Avogadro's law, you're going to um, use the same technique we showed earlier where you will um, close the syringe, one partner will pull back, the other partner will insert the nail stop and you'll weigh the evacuated syringe. Um, then you're going to take a sample of gas. Now it could be um, our 80% nitrogen, it could be atmospheric, um, it could be um, if you have some dry ice, well you should have dry ice in the, in the lab if you wanted to get some carbon dioxide um, subliming off of that dry ice, that's another option for a sample. Uh, and then you're going to weigh it, so you're going to examine the difference between volume and mass. So these are the techniques that we're going to use to reevaluate the ABC gas laws.